Greetings, my name is Pierre and welcome back to Neon Slice. Today I have a bit of a random video for Elden Ring PvP. I just wanted to do this video uh, a long time ago uh, when I first got this uh, this set. So today I'm going full Melania. So I'm going to test if the Melania set, the entire set, is actually viable in PvP. Now these are my stats. Of course this build is not built for this uh, specific build, but it is a dex intelligence build, so I, th I thought, um, why not? So I'm going to be mainly using Hand of Melania plus 10, which is the max uh, level for the for Melania sword, and then of course I have the full Melania set on me. I'm using Urtree's Favor plus 1, because the plus 2, I haven't gotten it yet. Uh, the prosthesis wear heirloom because I thought it would be fitting since you know I'm wearing a prosthesis basically Melania is missing an arm So she uses a prosthesis. It also raises my dexterity Radagon sword seal which greatly raises attributes But also increases my damage taking and the shard of Alexander, which I don't actually think I don't actually know if it, it works with uh, this move right here so um, so this weapon has blood loss build up. My base attack damage currently is 611, uh, so it's not much. So I'm, I'm, I guess uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, um, yeah, let me change my my things here, and then we'll get going. Okay, so these are the tiers that I'm going to be using: the dexterity knot crystal and the thorny crack tier which temporarily boosts successive attack power so i guess this build is all about successive attacks um so it's going to be a bit difficult in my opinion before we jump in i think it's going to be a bit difficult uh, actually landing those shots greetings traveler are you afk hello are you afk mister okay he's afk um well I need to make this video, so I'll wait. Uh, I'll, I'll wait a minute. I'll wait a minute. Oh, he's back. I waited for you. <laughs> you wanna, you wanna fight? Yeah. Okay. I was gonna kill him just to get going with the video, but because I can't actually send back people. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, because I'm Melania! <laughs> That's funny. GG's. Not this time. Not this time. Not this time, let me solo her. Not this time. <laughs> that was actually a great interaction. Um, yeah, this sword is not that bad. Um, I think... I think it's actually quite good. The 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 blood loss build up never really triggers though. You actually end up killing people before that triggers. It's going to be difficult catching people off guard with this weapon as everyone knows it's not that great of a weapon per se. So we'll see. Hello there. Hey. Nobody bows anymore nowadays. All right, we got a lance user. Oh. Okay, so if I use... Yeah, I, I was supposed to roll towards them. Hello. I'm trying to move, but I can't. Oh. Oh my god. I can't believe this is working. My gosh. This is actually really good. Okay, I don't actually mind. Um, I'm gonna show you my stats once again. I actually have dexterity plus uh, 60 and then the additional 13 levels are from my flask and my heirlooms. My talisman, sorry. Greetings. See, I don't mind if someone beats me after they bow. Oh, you're one of them. Never mind, I mind. Nice. Oh, you're using Meteorite. 
staff. Okay, so you're gonna keep your distance. Alright, that's a good way to combo. See, I. So, my strategy there was to get them to get close to me with Stars of Ruins. Because if you just continuously stay far away with Stars of Ruins, that's actually the only way to use Stars of Ruins properly by luring your opponents. Uh, like, use it to lure your opponents towards you and then finish them off with your sword. I think that's the, um, that's the way to go. But of course, you can just spam it, I guess. Greetings. Hey. Oh, I did not expect that voice. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you bowed. Thanks. Oh, interesting. People never expect... If you heal, I swear. You're laggy. Like, very laggy. That was very strange. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, so it's really satisfying hitting those consecutive hits. As you can see, I actually deal quite a lot of damage uh, with, these, uh, with these things. I wonder if Shard of Alexander has anything to do with this damage. Uh, probably, because I am using a skill, but you never know with that. With that. Like, I'm, I'm always unsure with uh, with how Shard of Alexander works because I always think, you know, Moonveil, right? And that makes sense because it's an actual skill slash magic thing. I don't know. But uh, I think it's actually benefiting the, the L2 attack for this weapon. Hello there. No bow? Please bow. Nice. I'm just that old school. I have to have a bow. For a fight. Really? Oh, nice. Oh. I'm out of stamina already. Oh, yeah, right. I need to remember that this is not Dark Souls 3. Hello. Greetings. Dovahkiin, Dragonborn. Oh, he's got two weapons. That that reminds me. See, I haven't played Elden Ring in a very long time. But that that reminds me of the um, Leto's Hammer. I think it was called from, or Leto's Hammer from Dark Souls Three. Almost caught him. All right, allow me, allow me to use my sorcery for one fight. <laughs> Honestly, I just wanted to showcase how broken Stars of Ruins is in in PvP. Is is I'm gonna make a whole video about that. Don't worry, but uh, yeah. Hand of Melania, let's go. <laughs> hey, he's back. Hey, um, you you gonna play? You gonna do your your let me solo her thing? Or no? Okay. You're not gonna change this time. <laughs> You're not gonna change. Okay. Oh, crap! <laughs> nice, nice. That was a lot of damage. Okay, he got his revenge. GG's. That was a crap ton of damage. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for me. Um, it's gonna—it's a bit of a short video, but 
uh, I, I honestly don't think anyone's gonna watch this, so I want to make a short video uh, showcasing this weapon. It's quite amazing, still playing Elden Ring every now and then, um, let me know if you are still playing Elden Ring also. Uh, but yeah, if you guys see me play other games on my channel, uh, that doesn't mean I've quit, it just means that I, I play other things as well, other than, um, you know, Elden Ring or other things. Anyway, um, let me know what you think about this weapon in the comments down below and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and stay happy and use group password NEON to uh, see my messages and summon signs. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.